Hello and welcome, I'm Paterno S. Makel and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. Presidential frontrunner Grace Poe takes a swipe at Vice President Jejo Marbinay during her campaign sortie in Pangasinan, February 12. Poe says her lack of experience in government could be a plus in the middle of corruption issues. Binay, who earlier hit Poe over citizenship issues, also faces a barrage of corruption charges. Totoo! Bago lang ako sa gobyerno. Hindi ka naman kailangan na ilang dekada na sa gobyerno para maging pangulo. Totoo, kulang ako sa karanasan sa pagdanakaw at pangungurakot at hindi ako nagdanakaw o nangungurakot. Recent polls by Pulse Asia and Lilo show Po bumping off Binay to second place despite facing several disqualification cases. <laughs> Venezuelan technology provider Smartmatic downplays the glitches found in vote counting machines or VCMs. Smartmatic general manager Eli Moreno says rejected ballots are no cause for alarm. He says the ballots used in the tests are, quote, only used for training purposes, not to be used on election day. VCMs rejected 1 to 2 percent of 50,000 ballot papers in a recent test by the Comelec. An estimated 1.14 million ballots can go to waste on the actual election day on May 9. A scientific breakthrough. Scientists confirm Albert Einstein's century-old prediction of gravitational waves. In 1916, Einstein predicted a warp or ripple would happen when two black holes collide. But it's only the first time scientists are able to observe it. The project detects a fleeting sound from two black holes that collided about 1.3 billion years ago. This discovery may explain how galaxies form and may even shed light on the Big Bang Fury. Ronda Rousey is back from her six-month medical suspension. The former UFC champ is seen throwing punches with head trainer Edmond Tarvergian at the Glendale Fighting Club. Rousey suffered a devastating knockout loss by Holly Holm at the women's bantamweight title last year. The 29-year-old is expected to return inside the octagon in November, while Holm will make her first title defense against Meisha Tate in March. <laughs> South Korea warns North Korea will face consequences for freezing the South's assets and expelling its staff from Kaesong Industrial Park. South Korea's Unification Minister Hong Yong-pyo says the North expelled their nationals with very short notice and told them to only take their personal belongings. North Korean officials say they're closing the jointly run Kai Song and putting it under military control, including around 53,000 North Korean workers. Kai Song was a military camp before it was transformed into an industrial park. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Paterno S. Makel. Remember, tomorrow begins today.